Hi everybody, welcome back to my classroom. This is Mrs. E here, and I hope you watched our addition fluency practice that we did with numbers 0 through 7. Now we're going to be doing our subtraction practice with numbers 0 through 7. So if you join me in my last video, I'm going to show you some flashcards. We're going to practice mental math. Mental math is when we can do the math problem in our head. We don't have to count with our fingers or write it down. But if you would like to do those things today, feel free. So if you need to get a paper and a pencil, you can go ahead and get that now and pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to start with our subtraction. Um, I'm going to show you the flashcards. You will answer my problem, and then at the end, we'll go over the answers to see if we got them correct. Okay? You ready? Here we go. Zero minus zero is... 1 minus 1 is 1 minus 0 is 2 minus 0 is 2 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 is 3 minus 3 is 3 minus 1 is 3 minus 2 is 3 minus 0 is 4 minus 1 is 4 minus 4 is 4 minus 3 is 4 minus 0 is 4 minus 2 is 5 minus 5 is 5 minus 4 is 5 minus 1 is 5 minus 3 is 5 minus 0 is 5 minus 2 is 6 minus 1 is 6 minus 5 is 6 minus 6 is 6 minus 2 is 6 minus 4 is 6 minus 3 is 6 minus 0 is 7 minus 2 is 7 minus 1 is 7 minus 0 is 7 minus 5 is 7 minus 3 is 7 minus 6 is 7 minus 7 is 7 minus 4 is and we'll do a couple more we'll do some 8s 8 minus 4 is 8 minus 2 is 8 minus 0 is 8 minus 5 is 8 minus 6 is 8 minus 8 is 8 minus 3 is 8 minus 7 is and last one 8 minus 1 is how did you guys do oh I'm so glad all right let's see if you got the answers correct here we go we'll go through them together 0 minus 0 is 0 that's an easy one huh 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 we talked about this in the addition um, fluency video. If I have one of something and I take zero away, so I haven't changed my number, it is still going to be the same number, which would be one. So anytime you see a number minus zero, it's going to be the number that was on the top because we didn't change it. We didn't take anything away. Two minus zero, if we look at that number, it should be two. Two minus one, one. 2 minus 2, 0. 3 minus 3, 
zero. So in this case, if you see three and we're taking away the same number here, we're not going to have any left, so the answer is going to be zero. Three minus one, two. Three minus two is one. Three minus zero should be the number that's on the top. Three. Four minus one, three. Four minus four, we took away the whole number, so it should be zero. Four minus three, one. Four minus zero, same number at the top, four. Four minus two, two. Five minus five, we took away the whole number, so it should be zero. Five minus four, one. Five minus one, four. 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 0 should be our top number still, we didn't change it, is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 1 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. 6 minus 6 is 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 3 is 3. 6 minus 0 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 0 is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. 7 minus 6 is 1. 7 minus 7 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. 8 minus 4 is 4. Uh, I will say really quickly, when we talked about doubles facts in the addition video, 4 plus 4 would be a doubles fact. It equals 8. Your doubles fact will help you in subtraction as well. Because if you know that 4 plus 4 equals 8, if I'm doing 8 minus 4, I know it's going to complete my doubles fact, which should be the other 4. So that's something that could be good for you practicing your doubles fact. 8 minus 2 is 6. 8 minus 0 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. 8 minus 6 is 2. 8 minus 8 is... 0, 8 minus 3 is 5, 8 minus 7 is 1, and last but not least, 8 minus 1 is 7, okay? So, I hope that that subtraction fluency kept your brain fresh and helped you with some math today. Stick around, stay tuned for some more videos where we're going to do some bigger numbers with our subtraction and challenge your brain even more. Alright, we'll see you next time for some math fluency. Bye, see you later.